hi guys welcome back to my channel and if today is your first time here please consider subscribing and let's be friends and in today's video i'm going to be making a review about caraway yes, i've gotten a lot of dm about um caraway cream and i should make a review about caraway cream is it good to use on the skin how is it and all that so i've delayed this video for quite some time but today i actually want to give you guys the full details about caraway so these carrots we are talking about, I'm going to put it on the screen. Every time I'm going to be talking about the picture, every time I'm going to be putting it on the screen because now I don't have the cream because it's long time I used this carrot. So I'm going to be sharing some pictures with you before we start. And these pictures, like I said before, I'm going to be putting it on the screen. So guys, um, carrot is not that bad. I've also watched so many reviews about Carol White. Some people say it's bad, some people say it's good. You know, we have different skin types, so I'm just going to be talking on my own point of view. Like, when I use it, how it work on my skin. So, I don't know about other people. So, I'm just going to rush and search for one of my pictures when I was using Carol White. So, Mm. yep this is the picture and I'm going to be putting it on the screen like I was really fair when I was using Carol White and it wasn't that bad on my skin I used Carol White more than two years yeah I used it more than two years before I was using um, this um, Carotone which I didn't know it was a bleaching cream then I was in secondary school and my mom saw it and she threw the cream away because she said it's a bad cream, bleaching cream. And really, I also noticed some changes on my skin then in secondary school. If I should wear my sandal to school, the line of my socks and where I buckled my sandal, that line will be really, really fair and different from my other skin. So when my mom saw it, she had to throw that cream away because it was really really active so then i switched into carry white because i saw my friends using carry white my classmates and all that so i started using carry white and then i was still in africa and um later on i stopped using carry white carry white is very active that's what one thing you should know but i did not miss it at all i just used it the way i bought it Sometimes I buy the one in the jar, sometimes I buy the lotion, just like that. So, and it was working really fine on my skin. One thing that that cream doesn't do, it doesn't give, like, quicken to give dark knuckles. But one of the disadvantages is stretch mark. You can never run away from the stretch mark that carrot is going to give you. It must give you that's trash mark sexy trash mark <laughs> so i got this trash mark from carrot whites i think back of my legs and on my laps so it was not really really bad not that bad just a little line i didn't stop no till i started hearing stories stories and stories and stories about carrot white and i was really scared people were saying it's is um bleaching cream is this then i just newly moved to europe and i was hearing this rumor and i was scared of using carrot white so i have to stop then i switched into pressures do you know the the funniest thing if you stop using carrot whites, you're going to go dark. Your skin will look really, really horrible. Like when I stopped using carrot whites, my skin was really dark. Like I couldn't imagine how my skin turned into. But when I, rest I started using it again, I have to buy the cream and start using it again. My skin came back fresh, but I started getting lots of stretch mark of which I couldn't undo anymore so I have to stop the cream and stop using any cream that contain androquinone that contain any harsh chemical on my skin that is when I stopped finally 
So I can't really say Kara White is bad on their skin because so many of my friends that are using Kara White, it didn't cause them any damage. So I'm talking about my own self. I don't know about other people. It caused me a little bit of stretch mark, not too much. And no dark knuckles, no. I can't really say Kara White is dangerous. I can't really say it's good because I don't know. It's just a combination of both. So it will make you look fresh when you are using Kara White. But if you stop it, it's a problem. That's the main reason I don't like Kara White. It's not that it's a bad cream. For me, I love using Kara White. Where even to get original is very easy at then. I don't know now anymore. I don't know if they've changed the system or everything. They've changed the product. If there's a lot of fake, oh, I don't know. When I was using it, original was just it was easy to find so for those people that are saying lots of stories about Kara White saying Kara White did this did that you know so many people miss their cream do you know they will miss their lotion with different kind of harsh chemical and they will expect their skin to be looking fresh how would that how will you achieve that when you are using different kind of harsh chemical how will you achieve a, a fresh and clean skin? Huh? Use the lotion or the one in the jar without any oil or nothing. Because me, I don't even have time for cream. After taking my bath, I just abandon my cream and wear my clothes. Sometimes I remember I have cream that I've not even used for more than six months. I will go there and just take little and just rub anyhow. It's not I just sit down, rub cream. Before, I don't think about cream. And when I was using Karawa, it was just working on its own because I don't use lots of cream. Most especially in the summer, I use less cream. I don't like packing cream on my body because of heat. So guys, if you want to try out Kara White, you should try it out and don't mix it with anything very harsh because the cream on its own is harsh. So you can use it just like that. There are two different types of Kara White, one in the jar and the lotion. The one in the jar is very, very active. It's more active than the one in the lotion. But the both of them are really, really good and active. But for me, the one in the lotion is better because it's less active. Not that it won't work on your skin. It's still going to work on your skin. But the Kara White is thick. If you're the type that don't like cream that is thick, you can as well mix it with something that is not really really active and meanwhile if you have sensitive skin i don't think it will be good on your skin because carrot is good for some people and it's not good for some people you know this sensitive skin is selective so i don't know about sensitive skin now eh? if you want to use it and you have sensitive skin i would advise you go see your doctor so guys and this is all for carrot thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. So if you want to ask me any question and it's personal, you can also follow me on my Instagram at Esther Modela. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Comment below. Bye. Until next time.